Greetings, friends and allies. This is Jason Alum from Fever333. I wanted to quickly explain to you what we'll be doing with this live stream. Uh, as many of you know, and as many of you experience, we've been going through uh, quite a rough time with, of uncertainty and anxiety and fear uh, due to a pandemic that has gripped the world known as COVID-19. Uh, these are unprecedented times and we want to get through them just as much as, as you do. But we must uh, not forget that there are precedented times that we face and have been facing and have been perpetuated for generations. And one of these things has been the violence against black bodies, brown bodies, immigrant bodies in America and throughout the world. This is a power dynamic and it's been leveraged against people for generations, as I stated earlier. This is something we must address. This is something we must fight against. And this is the platform that we utilize to do so. We'd like you to engage. We'd like to give you tools, advice, and a sense of empowerment that you can utilize in order to excel in your own fight against these things, create your own space, create your own sense of safety, and again, your own sense of power. This is what we discuss, this is what we always discuss, and we'll be doing so in this live stream. We hope that you join us, we hope that you bring an open mind and open heart, and of course, bring your power. Thank you so much for being there in advance. Old City Black here uh, has been a hot spot all day. East Lake Street. Who's going to ask themselves, why is this acceptable? Let me be clear. The arresting officer killed someone. Civil rights activists say the unrest is years of pent-up frustration. You wouldn't be able to find a single person that knew him, that didn't love him, and wouldn't tell you about his gentle spirit, his loving You know? And he was that. He would pick anybody up. He used the power of God to really lift people up in this world. And I miss this is that. years of pent up frustration with city leaders and police. They have not moved quickly enough to root out the systemic racism within the department. Going around just busting guns in crowds, kids getting killed. One day it's going to be you and God. You're going up or you're going down. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be it. My heart hurts. Ah, shut up. So we had a white boy, we'd make him sing too, you know. And uh Listen to our story. Listen to our stories. This is a story. The melanin fellas, we are the product of plunder of policies that you gotta love. Casinos, amigos, are 40 acres. All our best made in America. Living in terror or what they terrorize. Cover your eyes, cause people terrify.
in America, we made in America. Cause we made in America, we made in America. I'm so, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I've been walking for miles every day. I've been yelling for hours every single day about what I know we believe and what I know we deserve. I thought I was tired from all the walking. I thought I was tired from all the screaming and shouting. <laughs> but uh, I was talking to my wife today and then I realized I've been tired for years. Ever since I realized what it meant 
to be black in America, to be told that by way of a construct, an idea that was created to keep people that look like myself, Stephen, my family and friends, a design that was built to keep us down. <clears throat> I realized that I've been tired for, for years. So I'm asking you, watching this, especially those in rock music, I'm asking you to show up for what I believe in my generation to be for the first fucking time. You want to take music that was black music, that still is black music, you want to benefit from black music, you want to enjoy black music, black culture, black art, black excellence, but you don't want to celebrate it? You don't want to show up when we dying in the streets? Then you are not supporting rock music. You are not supporting black people. You are exploiting black people. When you take and you take and you take and you don't give back to that thing that you've taken from, by my estimation, that is plunder. So with that being said, every major record label, streaming services, managers, distribution, venues, the benefit off of our bodies, our struggle. This is your time. The world is watching. Show up for black people. Stop taking from black culture. Show up for black people. This song's called One of Us. You are the minority, we are the majority. Fuck your lies and fuck your greed. We are the majority. Shout out to the underprivileged. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my family.
Three Records, Interscope Records, RCA Records, Def Jam, Island, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. Show up for black people. You love black culture. Show up for black people. Show up for black people. We're gonna take this moment to be silent. Not like yesterday. Not like when you should have spoke up while people were out in the streets getting shot at and manhandled by those that are there to protect them. Those that have shown them nothing but chaos for generations. We will not be silent the way they thought we would be silent yesterday. We will be silent in the names of all of those beautiful black bodies that were slain needlessly and senselessly over the years. Be quiet and listen for a minute. Say his name. Say his name. Say her name. Say their names. Say their names. Say their names. Rest in peace, George Floyd. I can't. Trayvon Martin had just left the market with candy 
For those of you that are familiar with this project, you're aware that we try to create a space that is safe for everybody. No matter where you come from, no matter where you sit on the spectrum, we genuinely believe that we must open up a space safe enough for everyone to have the discussion. For years we've been fighting due to ideals, constructs known as race, and the fear of each other. Right now in America, there is a fire that is being stoked. Flames that are being fanned by people in power. The people are relinquishing their power, the very power that we possess simply by existing as a people, as a nation, as a constituency, we are giving up our power to someone and to people and to a system that does not care about us. Not the way it cares about itself. I don't care where you sit on this spectrum. If you're able to watch the atrocities that are happening every single day, much like our brother George Floyd being slain on the streets in front of a camera, and you don't think that there's a problem, then you are that fucking problem. 
Like I said, this is a safe space. We can have that conversation all day. But do not, do not retreat when I tell you what the fuck it is you are. These are facts laid out on paper. These are policies written down, systems in place. You can find this out for your very self. This is not bias. I promise you, if you seek this out, you will find it. And it will be verified by our system, the one I mentioned earlier. What I ask of you today is to have the conversation. Don't be afraid to have the conversation. So afraid that you impose violence upon another person. I challenge you to have the conversation today. I'll have it with you. Imagine being born in a hospital whose doors open up right into a cemetery. How's that for metaphor? Living behind the jet strip where women remove their clothes for tips. What was the alternative? How else they feed the kids? A death for men that feel no love. We're block to block from blood to cut. When my dad walked through the door, ain't remember who he was. I was seven. Watch a riot while the neighbors were on tires. Down the street with day and rims. You watch the news. I lived in it. Look at the signs that say back on. We're gonna leave the shop alone. Burning down the Burger King. Ghetto coming back to take the thumb in my blood. Came on buddy. He was trying to keep the peace. Now I hear a whole new meaning when they scream. She said, I'm not Hispanic or Latina, I'm Mexican. That's what Peter, her uncle said. Boy, I don't like it, so we will meet all provided, but I can't take you nowhere yet. Got these cancel welfare checks, couldn't cross the Lennox line. They whooped my ass every time I tried. And bid you wish with the light brown skin. I'm like, yo, I kept telling them, even if you don't believe me, when the cars go, this will be me. La Siena, Gun Hill, that's when my homeboy got killed. Everywhere they tried to show my mom. Grab a gun, shit. When y'all was learning violence, I was learning violence. Y'all was learning violence. It don't get you gentrified and gotta waste no gas and travel my corpse will be like ghetto cattle to catapult across the street to that same old cemetery when you're lost i'll find you twilight and dark when hell when it's dark i'll light you i promise i will fall y'all um let me explain what's going on here 
this is a, a live stream. It's actually it's our first first one ever, and it's for a reason. Uh, everything I stated earlier, I know these things are confronting. I understand that. I know that I seem impassioned <laughs> at best when I speak of these things. But these things that I'm discussing, but they're not, they're not, it's not mysticism. They didn't, they didn't spring up by way of magic. These things are happening. And with the, the globalization of, of the internet and your phones and your computers, it would be negligent and, and pretty much a lie to say that you don't see it. We're just trying to open your minds to an experience that is actually in ways that you may not understand yet, under, they, they, they're affecting you. They're affecting you. You may not look like the person that died on the street or the person that is subjugated or most of the people at the welfare offices or people that are disproportionately incarcerated in this country. You may not look like these people, but you, you are affected by these, these systems that subjugate these people. If we are in America, if we are the America that we say we are, where we all comprise the fabric of a country, then my plight is your plight. So when we say that black lives matter, being pro-black is not being anti-white. When we say black lives matter, we're saying that for generations, the creed, the color, the idea of blackness has been relegated and optimized. They have optimized our bodies, our minds, our culture, the use of them. They've optimized it to, to gain in finances. The biggest wealth building opportunities in this world were built upon the backs of slaves and immigrant bodies. Again, this is not bias. And for you to deny this, again, is negligent. For you to feel confronted, I will accept. But for you to walk away from the conversation, you fall into the category of being problematic. When I mentioned earlier, record labels, management, promotion, companies, distributors, the music industry as a whole, because that's what we in. When I mention y'all, don't get touched. Today, today I found out that the other three officers have been arrested. And while we are thankful for the small victory, it is just that, it is, it is a small victory when you look at the relative timeline of centuries of oppression. Please do not understate the problem by overstating this small moment in time. Do not eclipse the timeline that is tragic and painfully American. Do not eclipse it with this one moment. We will not accept justice in piecemeal. We will not accept treats like animals so that we stop asking for attention. When we say Black Lives Matter, we say we need your help and feeling like we are Americans too. And feeling like we are citizens of your nation. This goes beyond America. All over the world, darker skinned people have been subjugated and tragically mistreated for, for, for centuries. We're asking for help. We are not too proud. We are a proud people. We are a strong and beautiful people, but we are not too proud to say we need your help in understanding our plight and what it is we experience and why. Record labels, management, distrib distribution companies, promotion companies. While we do appreciate the piecemeal right now because George Floyd was murdered on the streets in front of everybody in the world that's watching and expecting a company or companies that have benefited off of the art, the, the, the intelligence, the excellence of black people for so long, you have benefited and you continue to benefit from black people in music. We top the charts. We make genres. We make this shit look cooler than anybody else could. 
Y'all don't want to show up for us until somebody gets murdered? Y'all don't want to show up till, till it looks good on y'all? Y'all want to post a black square and say you give a fuck? While I appreciate the small victory and I appreciate the gesture, it is not enough. It is not enough. Those three men, Derek Chauvin, it is not enough to repair what has been done. And unfortunately, what we believe will continue to happen unless we don't ask for more. That is what it means to proudly scream, Black Lives Matter. The song's about that, it's called Supremacy. Oh, okay, it's not called that. Oh, okay. I guess I was too impassioned. I wouldn't even look at it. Any of you wonder what a live show from us look like? It's kind of like that. It's a new song we released. It's actually the song I thought we were playing a minute ago. The song's called Supremacy. Born into where we're trying to be free but we're living underneath the surface 
See, I was raised in the West, where we stay stressed. When they lie, if they have to, they're making a wreck. Cause we living in the shadow of the suburbs. While our price to this house going upward. I don't understand how the poor get it robbed by the rich. And they're calling it a handout. And it's evident the neighborhood fucked up. Got us sending letters to the president. Can you hear us? Through the sound to the silence. And you wonder why the streets get it violent. Now the mother shed tears at the cemetery burying in the first child I'm a witch through the years, I'm a nurse firing, waking up, screaming at me, living in a cold sweat, segregated, they consider us a known threat, so we hopeless. Minnesota Freedom Fund and Black Lives Matter, you can click on the screen. We made it real easy to support today. Everyone asking, how do I help? I feel overwhelmed. I don't, I don't have the right information. This is what we believe to be the right information. This is what we've experienced and continue to experience unless more people decide to help, to believe, Sir, and to accept. Sir, what are you here for? What do you want the world to know after today? Just click a button and donate.
Show up for black people! 